Oh, you ready? Okay, this is a, uh, a an oil pump off of a 951DI. And to, to, to adjust this pump, we're gonna go over the adjustments on it because on a DI, it's critical that the oil pump be installed properly. Uh, right here, you can see uh, the two little lines right there. And so when you're adjusting this pump, that's the looser setting, which means less oil. And that's the called the break-in setting with more oil. So that's where you want to set all of them and just leave them there. Uh, supposedly, you're, you can go back and, get, and set them back to here after they're broken, so they use a little bit less oil, but uh, it's good. they're kind of hard to reach, so it's just better just to set them there. So that's where you want it set, and you're going to do that either for their little, the little adjustment. Uh, there's a couple different adjustments that you'll find on these. Some of them will have a little, on the cable, there'll be like a little plastic uh, adjuster that's over here on this side. You just break loose the jam nut and turn the plastic part, and, and, make, you go, and they'll move it like that, you know, as you turn it. And, and, and that's that with the uh, throttle, just at ease, you know, no, no pressure or anything on the throttle. Cable. And then um, uh, you, you will set that down in the hull. Normally, this will be inside the hull. Uh, you'll hook up your uh, cables to it and you'll get yourself a mirror. We get a mirror and we shine a flashlight on the mirror and then we'll, we'll set that. And so the, another thing you want to remember to do, this is the bleed screw on this pump. And you break that screw loose, there is a, there is a uh, little washer under it, so be careful not to lose that. Uh, but you break that screw, screw loose after you hook the oil hose up to here and you massage this hose and you make sure you get all the oil out of this hose or all the air out of the hose and make sure you get all the air out of the filter that's right here and um, you, you do that through by bleeding it through. Once you got all the air out to that point there then you just retighten that down, snug it down and that, that you have essentially bled the oil pump at that point. You should test these oil pumps on these uh, on these 3Ds. You can do that by hooking a drill motor up to this guy right here. And um, you can get a bolt if, if you, you know, you can get a drill motor on that, you know, it's kind of a little offset and, and it does a little bit of wobbling uh, because you can't grip it right. But all you gotta do is take a bolt if you got a little grinder and cut a slot in the end of the bolt, that width with a little die grinder and then, um, or a cutoff wheel, and then put the bolt in the drill and then you can use that as like a little, connector on that and you can run the drill motor in reverse. You run the drill motor in reverse as you put a supply. Now normally we'll just put a little hose on this. We'll fill the hose with some oil onto this part right here and that will be our oil supply. And then we will set, we'll put this where it's going to be so that would be full blast. I got to my drill motor on here then I'm going to open it up I'm going to open it up. I got oil in this and then I run my drill motor in reverse. And sometimes it takes two people to do this. If you have a vise, you can like lock this down in a vise and it helps it to hold it and stuff. And then you can pump the oil through these lines and verify that all three of them are pumping oil. And uh, you should be doing that uh, before you actually install the oil pump. Anyways, that's a quick lesson on uh, 3D, or not 3D, uh, DI. Um, oil pumps and thanks for watching uh, five star.